Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with ZClay32. This is episode number 86. And uh, let's see, so off camera, um, I've actually been a little busy. I went ahead and got a whole ton of wood uh, just to just to have pretty much. But um, basically I'm using this area as a little, little bit of a, of a tree farm. So let me just uh, replant these just really quick. I've been getting, oops, not you. Uh, I'm getting a, a very healthy amount of wood from, from this whole area. But, um, not, not there, not there. Oh, nope, yeah. So tonight I'd actually wanted to record a, uh, a video of me on the, um, or rather, some some adventures on the SNN server. It's a uh, it's another Minecraft server that that I am on with some uh, friends that I've met through YouTube. And I was hoping to to start that recording tonight. However, whoops, hang on one second. Um, however, tonight uh, apparently the Minecraft multiplayer servers are or the like I guess their multiplayer login servers are down. Uh, so unfortunately I was not able to, to do that. So uh, instead of just sitting around twiddling my thumbs, I figured oh, I'll just go ahead and record another one of my Let's Play series videos. So let me just run back in here and offload some stuff. Um, I also built a, a few more chests here. I realize I need to go ahead and make a storage room. So we're gonna go ahead and, and do that. Uh, not not in this episode, but or not rather. What I want to do is expand this uh, this sort of center um, center. I guess all I'm gonna, I want to make this like a big atrium sort of area, and then uh, all of the main rooms, like the library, the the sugarcane harvester, and like uh, another wheat farm or melon farm, and, and whatnot, will all uh, sort of feed off of this you know central area. And something else I realized too is uh, the the books that I'm going to need for the library uh, actually take leather now. <laughs> so the the it's yes it's been that long since I've made books. Um, the recipe has since changed, so uh, I will need to go grab some cows and actually make a cow farm, which is good because in the past I think I mentioned that I had I'd wished that that um, Mo Yang would have done more with the uh, leather in the game. So, whoops, what am I doing? I want to get some cobblestone. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab a whole ton of this cobblestone that I have on hand. And let's go ahead and just plop these tree saplings in here. Um, what I'm going to start doing is I want to start mapping out uh, where I want to start putting a wall uh, around this entire area. Uh, just that way, whenever we start building, I don't have to like run in and, and and uh, and go to sleep, you know that. Then I can just um, I can stay out here and work even while it's nighttime, and not be afraid of all the big baddies that are going to come out. So what I'm going to do is we're essentially going to create a big wall around this entire area. So we're just going to just build this on through. I realize this is going to look really ugly for right now, but uh, in the future, I am going to go ahead and um, sort of snazz this up a bit, <laughs> make this into a, a pleasant looking wall. So really, I'm, I'm not too concerned with, uh, with how it looks. I just want to make sure I get the shape correct. So let's see, I'm going to have it sort of curve around here. And I guess we'll have it go sort of like this. Yeah, this is going to take, this is going to take a lot of cobblestone, but you know what, that's okay because I have, I think I've got a, a bunch more stored down below in our, in our mine. So, all right. Let's see, I guess I'll do one more up here. Oh, I guess I don't, no, whatever. Don't need these on the, the corner here, but that's okay. And just so things don't spawn out here, I'm just gonna put torches on the top. Get 
you out of the way. Oh, and I am going to need to make some more torches. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, so the other night I played some, some Borderlands 2 with my, with my brother-in-law. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the game so far is, is proving to be just as much fun as the previous Borderlands, which is awesome. Uh, considering that I greatly enjoyed the previous one. Um, the, uh, pretty much if you, if you enjoyed the previous Borderlands, like you were no doubt going to enjoy, uh, Borderlands 2. Uh, it's, they, they really did a fantastic job of just, um, sort of staying true with, with what the, the genre is all about. Okay. So I guess, uh, we'll do one more layer up here. And wow, this is really gonna. Maybe I should just do. Here, we'll we'll do this. I will. Uh, let's see. I want to make. Actually, I want to wrap this around here. Don't want you there. Yeah, I want to wrap this around here and, and kind of follow the the outer outer line of this hillside here. Okay. So let's just put you there. You there. And then we'll make it go right across there. And let's go ahead and actually, let me just, I'll put two stacks there so I don't have to switch out as much. Still got a little bit of daylight left. All right. And let's just put a torch. Uh, let's see here. Put a torch there, a torch there, and... Oh, let's see. I guess we will need another torch just right over here. There. And then I will need to go make some more. But I will... I'll do that in just a bit. We don't do that right now. Okay. Do, do, do. This is very boring work. I thought about maybe doing doing the thing like I did last time where I just sort of like speed up the video while I'm doing some of this but um, it's uh, you know for for let's play series usually everyone likes to just sort of you know watch the progress as it's as it's built and watching things constantly and fast forward just I don't know to me it's I, I was you know even the boring parts I I enjoy watching so yeah uh, let me know what you think if 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 watching these parts is you know just boring you out of your mind, you know let me know and I can you know I, I have no problem you know uh, doing the the whole fast forward thing. So I guess doing the fast forwarding also requires me to to, to put a little more content into my videos. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm 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 fine either way. I'm, whatever you guys want, I will deliver. Um, and also if you have any other ideas for, you know, stuff that you want to see me build, um, you know, feel free to, to, to give me a, or to, you know, just holler out and let me know what you, what you want to see. It's almost getting to be nighttime here. So we're going to go and hit the hay pretty soon. I'll just see if I can just do some more of this. I think I said I was going to, yeah, just go ahead and. Do the perimeter, there we go, and I will head back to the bed. Uh, once I get a fair amount of this wall built, uh, then I'll go ahead and start scoping out the um, sort of the, the outer design around this center atrium area, and then uh, and then we can go ahead and get started on just uh, you know defining the area and then figuring out you know just what all supplies we'll need. Okay, and let's see. So I've got two more stacks of cobble. Let me just go grab. Uh, you know, let's see. Do I have? Did I grab everything from up here? Oh no, I've still got lots. Okay, good. And I, I guess I could grab the dirt and gravel, but I want to try to keep this, you know, as uniform as possible. So we will not worry about. Um, well, for now, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep it all as uh, cobblestone. Uh, let's see here, and I actually thought about maybe like, you know, once uh, maybe at a later point um, we can carry this this um, 
this wall out here and then maybe have it do like an archway over to the other side and then carry the wall around there and then include the little um, little uh, shack up there on the hill. Um, and then maybe I can do some like cool uh, bridge design um, across there. So yeah, let me know what you, what you guys think about that. Uh, and uh, so, um, actually uh, Nathan suggested uh, that I go and watch uh, Doc M. I think Doc M seventy seven is his name. Um, go watch some of his videos for some of the stuff that he he's building. And uh, I I actually may may do that because I've seen some of Doc's work in other videos. Like I think I I watched the um, I think they're the ones that do the the Minecraft server. And uh, I watched some of their like super ultra hardcore series and uh, it was it was a ton of fun to watch um i know that me personally you know just doing something like that in such a such a high stakes environment uh i <laughs> there's no way i would do well <laughs> they yeah they are, are are definitely definitely unique in that sense all right okay i guess we will just have this wall Sort of go out and around over here. Oh, I'll just go ahead and do it up there. So we'll have go around this way. And let's see, how should we do this? Oh, I guess I guess I will include yeah, this little this little section. I'll just follow the, the contour of this hill. All right, so I guess that is probably good for for this length of the area, and then I'll go ahead and um, I guess I'll hop down here and just uh, just sort of carry this this out and over. Okay. Oh boy. This area does not do well for my acrophobia. <laughs> yes, for those who don't know me, I, I do have a very severe case of acrophobia. Um, and for those of you who don't know what acrophobia is, um, lucky you, but <laughs> for those who do know what acrophobia is, um, well, you don't have to have it to know what it is, but uh, it is essentially the fear of heights. That is the, the, the formal name for it. Uh, it is, it is not a very fun phobia to, to have, and it, it's something that um, I I don't know if it's actually hereditary or not. I'm I'm sure that there's probably some part of it that is, but um, I actually found out that my uh, my great aunt actually has a severe case of acrophobia, and it is severe enough to where I told her my symptoms, and she apparently gets the exact same symptoms. Um, which is uh, you get you know sort of sweaty palms, um, really bad case of vertigo, um, yeah. And for those of you who've ever wondered just you know what what all the the hubbub is about with like vertigo and, and stuff like that, so it's a it it's a it's it's pretty much a psychological thing. But imagine that feeling you get when like you're on. Like you're on the edge of something, or actually, you don't even really have to be on the edge of anything. But uh, that feeling you get when someone comes up from behind you and just starts starts leaning on you and just starts, you know, sort of pushing you. Well, that sensation, that that sort of like where your equilibrium is being thrown off a little bit, kind of like when you're dizzy. Um, that's exactly what vertigo is like, and it's it is it's very very um, it's it's very very disruptive. In, uh, in 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 sort of like where you are, and so like you can be up up in a high place, and people that don't get vertigo, you know, they're perfectly fine, like you know, standing on the ledge, you know, looking out over, and everything's hunky dory. But for someone with vertigo, you'd be standing right here on the edge, and you constantly feel like you're falling forward. It's it's really hard to describe, but uh, like see, just like right now. <laughs> Even in the world of Minecraft, like my my left hand right now is starting to sweat. Um, yeah, it's 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 really bad. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but in really that that hurt me. Um, 
in in some ways actually minecraft has actually done a good job of sort of confronting that fear and uh you know i, I realize that that it is just a game so that that's probably you know part has uh, something to do with it but um but yeah it has it has helped a little bit in that sense so all right oops there we go Okay, so I'm going to do this one last row, then I think I'm going to call this video done. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and finish up over here. And let's go let's go over here and ah, yes. <laughs> My legs hate me today. Oh, again again. Um Yeah, so we are we are slowly making progress and uh, what I will do next time is Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and carry this wall down uh, over here, and we're going to go ahead and enclose this area, and then I'm going to carry the wall up there and around over there, and uh, and then maybe maybe across this little little bridge right here onto this this other area, and then what we're going to do is just focus on making tons of torches, and I'm just going to light this entire place up to the point where things should not be spawning at all. So, yes, we, uh, I would say we're about, we're about halfway done with the, with, with all of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just light this area across over there up. I'm not actually going to, uh, carry the wall out there just yet. And then after we get done with the wall, I will start sort of specking out, uh, where different areas are going to be, um, starting with this, uh, main sort of, um, atrium area in our, in our house. So yeah, uh, I will leave it there for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.